All right, what you're doing now is all you're going to do is attack the top of the key. You're going to sprint here and catch the ball, okay? Catch the ball. As soon as he catches it, you're going to come out, okay? And you're going to read the coach, okay? I'm going to, coach, where are you? Come out here, coach, okay? You understand what you're doing here? Give them the ball. They've got the ball, okay? All right? We, we see this, okay? So you're going to sprint. Let me see. Walk through it. Catch. Good. Okay. Okay. And then the coach is either going to deny you back cut or he's going to guard you. Okay? Coach, you ready to do that? Mix it up, okay? All right? Get them to learn how to see the game. Okay? All right. Now we're going to break it down fundamentally here. Watch how they attack space with their cuts. Remember, that's one of our keys offensively, attack space. Okay? All right? So we're going fast here, okay? We're going fast. This is live. Only one defender. Coach, okay? Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, you see the way he passed that ball? Do you think you'd be able to make that pass in a game? Okay, so you should never do that in any drill you ever do, because by doing that right now, you are rehearsing a bad habit, okay? So you should throw it as if there's a, somebody guarding you. Practice with imagination. You know what Einstein said? Imagination is greater than knowledge. Remember that. Okay. Imagination is greater than knowledge. Say that. Imagination is greater than knowledge. That's great, good. So <laughs> imagination, you always gotta play with imagination on the court. So you catch it, down, ready to go, okay? Now, why do you want to catch the ball down? Well, if you catch the ball up, let me see your shooting motion if you catch it up. You're standing up, catch it up. Now, shoot. Shoot? Yeah. No, you have to, I mean, you're a regular shot, a regular shot, okay? Okay, you're coming up there and you're gonna catch, shot, shoot, catch, shoot, okay? You ready? You ready to catch, shoot? Good, all right, now catch it down. Be in a down position. Good. Which do you think was quicker, the first or the second? Clearly the second, because he was down. Okay? So when you catch the ball down, your first move is up. Whereas if you catch it up, your first move is down and then up. And remember, if it's a game of space, you've got to get that space, so time is really important. Okay? So you're coming as if you're going to shoot it. What, what blows my mind about my players is they, they go through robotic movements. They come up and they catch a ball to make another pass. They're so unselfish, they catch it like they're gonna pass. I want my guys coming off every cut, every screen, ready to shoot the basketball. Because if you come off ready to shoot the basketball, come on off ready to shoot, then me as a defender, I've gotta respect that. So immediately, you are slapping me around. You're a triple threat. You could shoot, you could drive, you could pass in this position. But if you catch it up, catch it up, then I could, I could play off here a little bit and I wait for you to go down, and then I can close space out. Catch the ball down. Catch down, okay? So you're gonna catch the ball down, okay? Coach, you're gonna play D, okay? All right, you understand what we're doing, okay? Now watch, again, one of the fundamentals is finishing. Let's go, go ahead. Stop, why didn't you pass it to him? Because I thought he was going back cut. Okay, he thought he was going to back cut. You gotta see, okay? You gotta see, okay? You played the play rather than see the game, okay? All right, let's do it again. Coach, way to mix it up, coach. And that's what good coaches do. They mix it up on their players, force the IQ. 